Deep in the backwoods of South Texas, you never know what might be lurking around the corner or in your tree. And he saw this strange animal sitting up here eating corn. In Ratcliffe, a small town in DeWitt County, residents are certain they found the mythical, despicable chupacabra. And this time, it's alive. Jackie Stock says her husband caught the creature Sunday night. He called me to come and look, and I said, Bubba, that looks like a baby chubacabra. With its hairless back, large claws, countless teeth, and ferocious growl, many would say this animal fits the bill. You know, I hunted coons, you know, 20 years with dogs and all that, and I ain't never seen nothing look like that right there. Parma says one of the big signs it's not a raccoon is its growl. Coon don't make that noise, or a possum. What makes that noise? I guess chupacabra does. I don't know. <laughs> Here in DeWitt County, most people are convinced this is the elusive chupacabra. But what do wildlife experts have to say? The animal in the cage, as best I can tell from the view, was some form of a small canine. Brent Ortigo, a biologist with Texas Parks and Wildlife, says a canine can include a coyote, dog, or even a fox. He says the animal most likely has mange, which has caused it to lose its hair. But as for a chupacabra, well, he thinks otherwise. It's never been proven to be uh, a unique species. It was always something out there that allegedly either caused harm or threatened to cause harm to people or their livestock. Chupacabra or not, right now this little guy is staying at the stock household, living off a diet of cat food and corn. At least until someone can find out what it really is. We've never seen anything like that on our place before. Pretty much right here. Right there is where we set the trap. Joe Livermore is talking about the mysterious creature caught in the woods close to Prince George's Hospital Center. It's a kangaroo dog rat mixed. It's got a rat tail and a head like a deer. I don't <laughs> I don't know what it is. Joe's colleagues didn't know what it was either and started calling it a chupacabra after a mythical Latino Bigfoot type figure. The legend of the so-called chupacabra started on June 1st, when Prince George's Hospital Center went smoke-free, forcing folks to come into the woods to have a cigarette. Uh, people were coming back inside with cell phone pictures, and they said, do you know what this is? I took a picture of an animal that was running past us while we were smoking, and I didn't know what it was. And they were being passed around, and no one knew what it was. So we decided to trap it. So last Thursday, using chicken and leftover Chinese food as bait, the X-ray tech captured the animal that has captured the imagination of hospital workers, all of whom are still trying to figure out what it is. It's so unusual looking, I guess, especially because of the really long tail. So I've never seen anything like it before, the, the pointy long ears. It's, um, it's quite interesting. Yeah character. I didn't know what to do with them. I, you know, I didn't know whether to, you know, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was, people said it was a fox, a deer, a dog. After taking dozens of cell phone videos and pictures of whom they have now nicknamed Prince Chupa, they let him go and have contacted area veterinarians hoping that someone can help them ID the beast. In Prince George's County, Jane Wattrell, News 4.